And welcome back to Epic Arms. Today, we're going to be reviewing the GRS Bifrost. So the GRS Bifrost is kind of a more affordable option in terms of stock replacement for a long range rifle or a hunting rifle. So that's pretty much the target demographic for this chassis. Now why the Bifrost? There's six degrees of reasons why. In all of their stocks, regardless that it's a Bifrost, they all have six degree angles into the grip. So you're not having your grip like this, it's actually more like this, which is more natural ergonomically to hold anything actually. So that's not the only reason. So they have a few other really awesome things. So the GRS Bifrost only weighs 2.9 pounds and retails $750 Canadian or about $650 US. So it's definitely among the more affordable stocks. Fits the 700 short action, long action, the Blazer R8, the X-Bolt short action, the Husqvarna 1900, the Howa 1500, the Mauser 67, the Mauser 98, the Sauer 200 STR, the Savage 110, long action and short action, the 16 and the 116, the Tika T1X and the T3X, the Weatherby Vanguard, the Zoli 1900, the Ruger 1022, but oddly enough, not the Ruger American and nor the Savage Axis, and a few other of the really budget ones. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're looking at this and saying, but it's plastic. Well, not quite. It's actually plastic or that's been reinforced with fiberglass. So starting off with the back of this chassis, it's got some big ticket features that you never see at $750 Canadian. Typically, you're going to see these on stocks or chassis that are about $1,000. So I'm talking about the adjustability in terms of the back. So you simply pull on this and you can adjust it in terms of height. You simply pull on it and you can adjust it in terms of angle here. So you can really put this perfectly into your shoulder. It's 100% adjustable. So in terms of length of pull, you simply push this either way and you'll be able to adjust the length of pull. And you simply recenter it. Actually, I'll center this back normally. You put this to the desired height and you lock it in place by centering this button. It's one button to adjust everything. The same that goes for the comb height. Very simple. Let's just center it here and you're good to go. So easily adjustable, but fully adjustable. Now that is not something we ever see at $750. And that coupled with the six degree angle of the grip is probably the more main reasons you're going to choose the either, well, any typically Jira stock. Now, if we flip this over, we are gonna see a Picatinny rail here. This is gonna be great if you have a monopod. It does have a QD sling swivel stud here, so you can attach your sling. Moving to the front, I mean, they have a rubber overmold right onto the grip, which is just really nice and comfortable. Anytime you're shooting with one of these rifles, you're gonna appreciate it. So if you ever get the chance to shoot a uh, GRS equipped rifle, don't pass that up. Moving to the front, I mean, basically dropping my Savage 110 action in here, one thing I did notice is that it doesn't have like an integrated mini chassis or anything. I'm assuming that's largely mitigated by the fact that they have fiberglass reinforced plastic, so it's probably not necessarily necessary. I didn't notice any opening in groups with this rifle. This rear rifle shoots nicely, and there was no changes negatively by putting this stock in it. So, moving our way to the front, this stock is free-floated, as you would obviously expect. We have QD slots on both sides of this rifle, and we also do have a sling swivel stud right on the bottom. What I did notice is the, the front portion of this stock is a little bit beefier than I kind of expected. A lot of the times on the more hunting rifles, we're gonna see this front end here just a little bit more narrow. Not that it's not comfortable or, I mean, I'm just not sure if I had small size hands, if I'd really appreciate having such a large forend here. Then again, I have large size hands, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> On the bottom here, while these do look like M-locks, they are not M-locks. And I believe they are for a uh, spigot for a bipod, which is something we don't typically see in the United States. So overall, my thoughts on the GRS Bifrost. This is an excellent option if you wanted a fully adjustable stock for either just long range hunting, for long range shooting or hunting or long range hunting. 
So overall, an excellent stock. Now, if you did want to pick one up, I'll leave some links in the descriptions below. And if you do want to support the channel, we have some awesome carbon fiber tripods and some awesome optics for sale for the Canadian market. So be sure to check out cdnprecision.com.